Since the confirmation of the novel coronavirus, the Gambia government has introduced a series of measures to curb the spread of the deadly virus. Key among them is the closure of all schools in the Gambia. Recently, the government has eased some restrictions and the reopening of other institutions, but private institutions are still closed. Ablai So, chairman of National Association of Vocational Skills Training Institutes, outlined the challenges they are facing in these trying times. Part of such closure has an overreaching impact on the institutes, the trainers, as lecturers, and the students, and the economy as a whole, the whole country. So it affects the institutions, it affects the lecturers, it affects the students, and it affects the country as a whole. During this period, the training institutions did not generate any revenue, and I'm talking about six months here. Knowing they rely solely on school fees, as an important sector in the socio-economic growth of a country, we were heavily expecting government's bail out package for educational institutions to cover us. But we were unfortunately and unfairly left out. Just to um, inform you that they had a bail out package for GTTI, Gambia College, University of the Gambia, and MDI. And all the other ten institutions were left out including the institutions that we are representing here. Mohamed Fofana is the Secretary General of the National Association of Vocational Skills Training Institute. NAFSTI is duly registered as a charitable organization. However, this noble objective have been threatened by the ongoing pandemic, COVID-19, and subsequent state of public emergency imposed by the government, which includes the closure of schools six months ago. NAFSTI members have since wondered how to cope with the situation, knowing very well that they depend on tuition fees to pay staff and manage the institutions. The Ambassador, Piero of the association, says they are yet to receive any support from the Ministry of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. It's very unfortunate and disappointing that we are yet to receive any support or any acknowledgement or any form of encouragement during these trying times from our immediate partner, that is our line ministry, and the government of the Gambia. And as you are aware, these institutions produce about 60% of our workforce, both in the public and private sectors. National Association of Vocational Skills Training Institute was established in 2001 to serve as an umbrella organization for TVETs in the Gambia. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Nafisa Tukamara.